Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sorry, but if the Forge can bring back the people we love, it's worth any risk. You were too weak, too selfish to destroy the Forge. Now our empire, our people, shall rise again! Once we get off this planet, I'm going to leave the Guardians. If I'm alone, the only one who can get hurt is me. This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. Like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. Tell me what I have to do. My family will be proud. And I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. Peter, where's Drax? I just thought we had a leader who would fight for us. All of us. I ain't happy about Drax being gone, but I am happy to still be breathing. Thank you for freeing me and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. The galaxy may need guarding, Peter, but not by us. Gamora, wait. It wasn't me who did this, Peter. It was you. Next up, is your Kodak's device making you sick? A new study. Eight or nine rounds, then we find uh, hold Hall. On. We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete. I found her. I'll see if that drink maker can pour us something stronger. We're gonna need it. We need to talk. You are the Star Lord that's caused nothing but trouble for Allah, are you not? I need your help. Well, you got a funny way of asking. Most people don't point a gun in my face when they want my help. Look, I... my... my name is Baldin, son of Hala the Accuser. You've seen what my mother is capable of. The weapon she now has in her possession. You want to stop her, right? Let us work together. No more people have to die. It could be advantageous for everyone. I'm not helping you with squat until you put the gun down. Not until you agree to help me. Yeah, that's the opposite of what I asked for. I risked my life. Wish treason to my people, I... Just so I could find you and stop my mother from destroying our... Whoa, whoa, whoa! You guys having a party and it didn't invite me? Rocket, this is Baldin. Hala's son. He wants to help us. Wait, wait, wait. Hala's friggin' son? Now, I'm not buying it. The Kree, who've been trying to kill us, need I remind you, don't just offer their help. Not to us, at least. Trust me, he isn't some evil mastermind. He seems really nervous. Yeah, you know who else gets really nervous? People who got something to hide. But you know, he's probably got valuable intel on Hala. If we knew he was telling the truth. Uh, maybe I should just go. I'm sorry that I bothered you. Whoa, 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 not so fast. You're not going anywhere, friend. Rocket? 
What are you- Hang tight, Pete. I'll be back in a jiff. Mantis? Groot? Sorry that took so long. She, uh, wasn't too keen on coming back here. Mantis will be able to tell if the kid's lying or not. This is why you dragged me back? You said it was life or death. I am Groot. You just want to use my powers as some sort of lie test. I don't have to put up with this. Come on, Groot. Let's go. Hala has a super weapon and is killing innocent people. That's the textbook definition of life or death! Okay. But what does he have to do with that? This isn't just some random creed. This is Hala's son. I'm Groot? Your mother is very mean. <sighs> okay. I'll help. But I'm doing this for the galaxy, not for you. Fine. I'll ask the questions. You just tell me if he's lying or not. Oh, are you done talking about me like I'm not here? Not that being treated like I'm invisible is anything new. Reminds me of home. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Don't worry. I'm used to it. My friend Mantis here is an empath. Which means she'll know if you're lying, so... <laughs> tell the truth. Why did you come here? It is as I said before. I came here to stop my mother and save my people. The Kree have a mistaken view on superiority. If we were truly great, we would lead by example, not by force. Well, I'll be damned. I've seen it all. A pacifist Kree. Only through acceptance of all kinds will we be able to grow and prosper. Yeah, well, the Kree had their shot. They're the ones who screwed it up. It became so preoccupied with war, that it ended in the destruction of your planet. My people, I just need new leadership. <laughs> and it sounds like you've got someone in mind for the job. Oh, I had never really considered it. If not you, who do you suggest take over? Posing a leader without a successor, that's pretty risky business. Oh, um, well, maybe I could do it. I know as long as Hala continues to lead the Kree, they will never change. And I, I can't help but feel responsible. My mother, she wasn't always like this. She used to be different. I am Groot. So tell me, what was Hala like? She was uncompromisingly strict, as a leader and a parent. It was her way or no one's way. But I thought she truly loved her people. She didn't kill like this before. I have a proposition. I am Hala's only child. If she thinks you are keeping me hostage, it would emotionally compromise her. She'll become careless. It could give you the advantage you need to defeat her, freeing the Kree from her rule. All I ask in return for my cooperation is when the time comes, you must promise to spare her life. This is mounds upon mounds of crap. He just wants to use us so he can rule the Kree himself. Please! There has been enough death! I am Groot. We've already got him as bait. We don't need to take his deal. Couldn't you use him as an ally? Okay. You got a deal. You help us take down Hala. And we promise to keep her alive. Thank you, Star-Lord. Your word is your bond. 
as is mine. I'm still gonna be sleeping with one eye open. I just want a new path forward for my people. Don't even think about making trouble for us. Let's take a walk back to the ship. Even with Belden's help, do we still have a chance? Hala is armed with a devastating weapon. Combined with the Forge, there's no stopping her. I am Groot! But the Guardians are broken. I don't see a world where you can actually defeat Hala. And when you were together, you all hated each other. I can't imagine a time when you didn't hate each other. It's not too late for us to change. Come on, Groot, help me out here. Hmm. I am Groot. <gasps> what... what is it? Man, I'm innocent. You got the wrong guys. Oh, you mean to tell me there's another rodent and tree duo out there? Yes! Who were scanned and ID'd by several bystanders. Yes! And caught red-handed. I'm telling you, I just got one of those faces that looks guilty. I am Groot. Yes, yes, we know who you are. Forget it, Groot. These bucketheads can't understand you. Don't worry, I know how to handle this. As soon as they lock us up, I'm gonna go up to the biggest, baddest dude in there and knock him out. Oh, oh boy. Hey! I did not know this was an animal prison, too. Or perhaps you are my meal. You would hardly be satisfying, though. I am Groot, and I am Drax the Destroyer. Do not attempt to challenge me. I will tear you limb from limb, or snout from tail, whichever would be more painful. I challenged you. I'm still here. That is because you cheated. You had a weapon, and I did not. You take it easy. <laughs> Knock it off. All right, all right. Make room for one more. Hey, don't get too comfortable. We'll be back to take you to permanent lockup soon. Who is this loser? Call me... Star-Lord. I'm sure you've all heard of me. Especially you. Definitely not. No. Nope. Well, now you have. Please stop winking. Hmm. I am Groove. I don't know. I can't take anyone with facial hair seriously. Nice to meet you, Groot. What kind of tree are you? Spruce? Elm? I am... Groot. Yeah, you already said that. Hmm. I could tell you guys are the real badasses in the room. Legendary outlaws like me. Oh. Not you. We're too good-looking to stay locked up in here. Don't you think? The second the Nova Corps start running background checks on us, none of us are ever gonna see the sweet light of day again. I don't know about you all, but I got an amazing eventful life out there that I want to get back to in, oh, say, five minutes ago. I am Groot. Not now, Tree Man. I have a plan. We're breaking out of here. I'm not going anywhere with any of you. Settle down in there! All of you. I will not settle. No prison can contain me. 
I'll go gladly if this giant ass won't be there. My ass is the correct proportion for my body. It is 100% pure muscle. I don't need to hear about your ass muscles. It was the rodent who first mentioned it. I am Groot. Fighting isn't gonna get us anywhere. We need to work together. Hate to admit it, Stash Lord is right. We're fighting the wrong people. I just came up with a brilliant plan that's totally original. I'm calling Can't it... Wait to hear this. The Great Escape. You see that guard there? He's the only one with the key card to get us out of here. But there's no way we can get to it. So we gotta escape another way. There's a force field all around us, but not mm. below us. And that's where you come in, muscle man. Hmm. I agree to this nickname. You are gonna use those beefy mitts of yours to dig us a tunnel to the other side of the force field. Beefy mitts? We don't have anywhere to hide all the debris, so this tree... Well, you're gonna have to eat it all. And once we're over there, that's where you come in, gadget guy. Uh-huh. You're little and adorable, so you're the perfect distraction. Say that again. You're the perfect distraction, so that, uh, knife lady can kick the guards' asses until they're unconscious. And what are you doing while we do all the work? The most important part, I'm gonna spring my hover bike out of evidence lockdown. Then you can all hop on the back, we ride like hell for Switzerland. I mean, uh, somewhere far from here, where we never have to see each other again. Ah, that last part. Only part I like. So. Everyone clear on what they gotta do? I am still confused about the beefy mitts. Please, start over. <sighs> okay, back to the top. You rooks? <gasps> I'm not going to lie. A couple of you might die, but know that I will never forget you. Or, we could just use the key card. I love this tree. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Escape. You were going to say escape. Friendship. I was going to say friendship, but escape will do. together. I never knew. You're not a team, or a family, or friends in the conventional sense, but somehow it works. We've all forgotten how much we need each other. But we can still be like that again. We're the guardians of the galaxy. It's time we start acting like it. And let's go get them back. I am Groot!
I am Groot! Nice of you three to show up! Okay. Just gotta find Gamora. It's anyone's guess where she is. She's still an assassin. She'll know where to go if she don't want to be found. Mantis, you were able to track down the shrine using your abilities. Do you think you could find one of us too? I can usually only sense someone who is nearby. But I may be able to extend my range with your help. I am Groot. I have an idea! What? You're going to love it! minds. This is inside my mind. It seems kind of empty. I've never shared this with anyone before. And you didn't die or anything. This is amazing. I wasn't sure it would work, but it did. Well, I'm just happy that uh, you're happy, Mantis. I am happy. Isn't this so neat? This island here represents your subconscious mind, Peter. And those other islands represent your friends. Gamora could be anywhere in the galaxy by now. In order to find her, we'll need to build a bridge. Uh... Bridge? Yes. A bridge of feelings. I won't be able to do it myself. I'll need your help. Oh... Okay. This is weird. This is very, very weird. I suppose it would be for someone who has never experienced it before, but doesn't that make it kind of... fun? If we can reach your friends' islands, we'll learn where they are. Now, I need you to concentrate very hard. When you think about the Guardians, what emotions do you feel the strongest? Oh, what the hell was that? On this plane, emotions are able to take physical form. Those are memories that you can connect to with your feelings. If we focus on your emotional relationships with the rest of your team, they will be easier to find. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive Ryla. Yes, Peter? Hey, I'm sorry we made you feel uncomfortable before. I didn't mean to cause you any pain. Thank you, Peter. I know I said some things I regretted as well. But everything's going to work out. I know it. So is this what your mind's like all the time? Not always. Sometimes I can create my own little world to live in. I come here whenever I feel overwhelmed. I've been able to hone my powers during the centuries I was imprisoned. It was my only refuge during those times of darkness. So, what do I do now? Each memory, each emotion, will help build a bridge. You should gather more memories until we can find a path across. Okay. Gotta keep feeling stuff. Good luck. I can get her back if we charge the forge. We can revive life. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive life. to protect my new family. That's curious. Your bond with Drax is very strong. But I don't understand. You... You can sense Drax, but... Drax is dead. 
I can't explain it. But I can certainly feel his presence through your emotions. Who's gonna keep us from falling apart? You're doing well, Peter. I'm beginning to sense Gamora. You've told me how you feel about the Guardians. That's good. But in order to find your friends, I'll need more. How do you think your friends feel about being Guardians? We're gonna sell Thanos' body! We're gonna sell Thanos' body! We're gonna sell Thanos' body! This is my hour of honor. My sweet wife and daughter have finally been avenged. This is very unsettling. But please keep trying. Honestly, we all stay because of you, Peter. Doing great. I didn't think I was actually capable of feeling this many emotions. I'm so deep. Let's just try once more. You and the Guardians have had so many amazing adventures. How would you describe your happiest moment with them? I think that's enough. If you explore all these memories, we should have what we need to build our bridges. Hey, I was surrounded by a door. I... Hey, I was surrounded by a door and fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. It seems you have many cheerful emotions towards Rocket. the bridge. <laughs> Makes sense. Rocket's been here the whole time. In spite of everything you've been through, Rocket cares about you a great deal. He must really value your friendship to remain at your side. I'm glad he stuck around. He's a good friend. I suspect that is why he stayed. He knows how well you two get along, how much you need each other. So, I know a rocket is, but what's with all these other light orb thingies? They represent your feelings, Peter. You should explore them. The destroyer has purpose once again. Drax the destroyer. Drax the destroyer has purpose once again. Yes. Drax is back. Drax is somehow still out there. Your feelings can lead us to him.
This is... What the hell does this mean, Mantis? It means Drax is alive! And it means you left him for dead. Poor Drax! He must be so lonely! That's literally what he wanted! If that's true, I can't imagine he'll be very happy now. The others will be so excited that he's still alive. His sacrifice caused so much turmoil. Hopefully this will repair what was broken in your team. Okay, we know where Drax is. But we're not done here. Keep looking. We did it. Thanos is gone. You must be very close to Gamora. You've shown many positive emotions for her. been here. This is Thanos' training room from Gamora's memory. Gamora hated her father. Why would she go back? Maybe because it's the only home she's known. She never stuck around anywhere before she joined the Guardians. To be alone in the world. It's not easy. Rocket stayed with us. So that island will probably show us the Milano. I'm proud of you, Peter. You did well connecting with your emotions. I know it couldn't have been easy for someone such as yourself. Not everyone can connect with people as easily as I can, but I am an empath, so that is to be expected. Uh, thanks. Guess I'll take that as a compliment. You should, because you are so emotionally inept. Yeah, I get it, Mantis. Thank you for clearing that up. So, guess we just have to pick him up. Who should we get first? Go grab Drax. Let's go. I'm getting the hell out of town. Don't worry. If Drax is alive, I got money on that thing being dead. Whoa. He actually did it. Drax! Holy crap! You! You did... That worm was... That was... You came out of it. Like you were inside it, and then you, you came out? That's amazing! You doubted me, Peter Quill. <sighs> you have no idea how relieved I am. I mean, I thought I'd never see you again. Yes, the reasonable conclusion when I leapt from the ship would be that I perished. The creature did not give up easily. Our battle raged for hours. I felt... proud. 
But I think I was happier butchering that hideous worm than when I got revenge on my daughter's killer. How could that be? I cannot find a reason for it. That worm has no importance to me. How can this battle mean more to me than ours against Thanos? I don't know. Maybe this means that you moved on from your loss. If that is true, then it is as I had feared. In the midst of battle, I felt such exhilaration and nothing else. I spared not a single thought for Kumaria. I think I am afraid that with each passing moment, her memory will continue to disappear. I fear that once I forget, Kamaria will die a second death. These feelings will not stop. I do not know how to proceed. You're going through some really heavy stuff, Drax. It's okay to be afraid. I have never faced a problem like this. One I could not simply kill. Oh, if only I were dead. These feelings would not cause me such distress. No matter how hard I try! Okay, I know you wanted to die. But that kind of attitude, it's not healthy. You need to give up on this ridiculous death wish. Death is the only solace I thought I could find. I was not completely honest with you before. I did wish to protect the Guardians. But part of me hoped that I might see my daughter again in the afterlife. If such a thing does exist, I do not know. But the thought of reuniting with my family... The Forge hasn't been destroyed. We can get it back. And you can see Kamaria again. You know, with... without dying. Yes. That would give me a reason to not be dead. Thank you, my friend. I feel more sure of my path forward. Hey guys, it's all clear. Bring the ship down. Now, let us return to your garbage heap of a ship. The galaxy is counting on us to stop Hala, and I have wasted enough time beside this rotting carcass. The Milano isn't garbage. Oh, no. No, really it is. It is truly disgusting. Ask Rocket. He thinks the same. Wait, wait, wait. What? Expecting any calls today? Star Lord, you must know why I am contacting you. Admit it. Admit what you have done. I think I have an idea. Uh, is it because your son is on my ship and not yours? <laughs> Could that be it? Maybe? Ugh. Do not patronize me, human. You have taken Baldin hostage, and I want him back. I do not know how you did it, but I want him back, now! I want the Eternity Forge back in my hands. You return that to me, you get your son. You think I will just forfeit it to you? Absolutely not. Mother! Well, look who it is. Please, Mother. Just do as they ask. What are you planning to do with him? If you harm him, 
in any way. I will repay it one thousand fold to you. Hey, he's the one that came to me. It's not like I kidnapped him or anything. You expect me to believe that? I should have known better than to expect a straight answer from the likes of you. You are the most infuriating person I have ever encountered. I have always heard of the insolence of human beings, but meeting them in person is infinitely worse. I understand now why many have attempted to destroy your planet. Yeah, I get that a lot. I am coming for you. I shall destroy nowhere. Then I will continue to Earth. There will be no home for you to run to. She hung up on me. I can't believe she hung up on me. You're unbelievable, Quill. It seems you possess a unique ability. I've never seen anyone annoy my mother so much before. I fear she cannot be stopped. If you don't stand against her, no one will. Yeah, not gonna lie. That conversation could have gone better. You think? If she's coming from nowhere, we've got a hustle. Keep the engine running. I'll be back soon. Don't you think Gam's gonna be a little pissed at you? And what are you gonna say? <sighs> I'm sure I'll think of something in a moment. Word of advice, Pete? Think harder. Gamora? You've got some nerve. Following me here, of all places. I told you I was done. I'm not in a very charitable mood, Peter. Leave. Or I'll make you leave. Or are you here to fight? <laughs> I won't go easy on you. Whoa, whoa, there is no need for violence here, okay? Let's just... let's just talk it out. I've said enough! Instead, you keep everyone together! Hala is more powerful than ever. And now Drax is dead! Drax isn't dead! What? Why didn't you open with that? Drax is alive? And you didn't bother mentioning it before? Oh, sorry I didn't get the chance to mention it in the two seconds before you freaking attacked me! He was devoured by that thing. You said he was gone. I thought he was, but he's not! He killed that space worm and is now hanging on the Milano with everyone else. Drax is back to his... Well, his, uh, his normal self. Ah! What?! Ah! I just don't get it. Why does everything just work out for you? No matter what you do, everything just conveniently works out for the great Star-Lord. I thought you'd be happy! I am happy! Are you sure? You're yelling! Ugh. It's just... So Drax happened to survive, but you told him to sacrifice himself, knowing full well that it could kill him. Can't you even pretend to be bothered by that? Show me something, anything, at least some semblance of remorse. I gave Drax what he wanted. He asked me to let him go. It wasn't easy for me, but I'd do it again. How can you possibly say that? You shrug through everything, free of consequence, while I... I feel punished for merely existing. I've done so many horrible things. I fought. I tortured a little girl. All because I was too scared to stand up to Thanos. And now, my sister is dead. I'll never be able to forgive myself. 
You made a mistake coming back, Peter. I can't help anyone. It's not too late to save Nebula. We don't give up on our own. The Forge is still out there. We can bring her back. <sighs> it feels like too much to ask for yet another chance. But maybe this time I can finally atone for what I've done. I close my eyes at night and I'm right back here. I'm that frightened girl, unsure of what or who to trust. I want nothing more than that pain to be over. You have to forgive yourself, Gamora. It's the only way you can move forward. Right. You're right. <laughs>